Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 17 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. No extra coins, really. Uh, let me know what you think about today's farm, Pattern Drum Pairs. Hope you like the intro. I'm still in Dublin for maybe a day or two. Can't do the math. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy it. And, yeah, um, let me know what you think. Uh, okay, today's farm is 336 Pattern Drum Pairs. Given a list of unique words, we turn all the pairs of distinct indexes in the given list so chat can count. Okay. Basically, I plus J or words of I plus words of J is pound. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so there are 5,000 words and squares. Probably not going to cut it, right? Um. So I guess that my first instinct is just try to figure out how to prune it in a good way. Right? And of course you have stuff like uh, SLLS where, you know, uh, one of the things might... Um, my... Uh, one of the things might, might be... Um, you know, more than half of the word is what I was trying to say. Sorry, I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm I'm talking, but my mind is kind of thinking ahead a little bit, uh, and I don't know this one off my head. Just to be clear, so it's not like I'm trying to rehearse it or whatever. Um, I'm just trying to think about the possibilities. The other one, you know, th this these kind of problems sometimes is just uh, an exercise on reading the constraints and looking how to do them. Right. So three hundred to me seems a little bit. Maybe we can do something. Uh, let's see, because if 300, we check, that means that for each word, there are only 300 possibilities, but then it's going to be 300 square lookup, so maybe that's not that, it's not an improvement at all, uh, okay, mm. I think one thing that I'm tempted to do is some sort of, you know, prefix tree or something like this. Is there an easy way to do prefix tree though? Like, okay, let's say we, in the first case, right? Let's say we have LLS. How do we, so, you know, there, there are two, two at least two uh, palindromes. Maybe I, I was wrong about the... Uh, Maybe I was wrong about the 300 square. Maybe I take that back. I was just thinking of like, you know, let's just say we have something like this. My initial thought was just, oh, okay. Then now we have F-E-D-C-B-A. That's one. But then my, maybe my dot doesn't make sense. Okay. Maybe that is the way to do it. But then the idea is, okay, how do you minimize it, right? Like, okay. So here we know that we want to look for at least this but it could be other stuff as well right it could be like a g or something like that uh or and this would still work um like as in this could be the other thing So in this case, you can maybe argue that it'll be just part of this, which is that if you have this, then now you refract it the other way, as we said, and then you have G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Mm, and then, but then the other thing is that if you have, say, A, 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 then now... Then now it could be like, you know, now this is the 300 square case, right, where you have... A, 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 you have to look for this, and also this, and this, and this, and this, and this, right? So maybe that's not good enough. Mm. And like you have stuff like this as well. Um. Hmm. Still think the word less than three hundred maybe is allow us to do something, but this feels so familiar. But I don't even know. 
Um, hmm. It's 5,000 squared times 300 or 600 as it may be. Uh, it's going to be too slow. Am I being silly? Am I doing too much? Uh, let's see. Right. Um. Yeah, because of this case, I don't know how how. Uh, I don't know how I would do it per se. And you have one, two, three, four, five. Ugh. I worry that I, I, I don't know if this is one of those problems where lead code is just silly with the test cases and they're not very strict. Or the opposite, where they're very strict, um, and I think that's, um, and some of it is because you know it's an earlier problem, so they might have done something like that, uh, and this becomes a guessing game, um, because then. Man, I need more sleep. Um, Okay, let, let's first of all let's do uh, uh, index lookup as you go to do, 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 for index uh, word and enumerate words lookup of word is index right okay then now what well well we do it again but now we want to look up things we've seen right can it can cat itself now it's this thing okay so then now it tries to see um what would the brute force be like i guess let's let's just do this thing even though i'm very worried about this um i guess if they're unique words they're only uh, i mean in the worst case Uh, each word can have 300 matches, right? So I guess that's 300 times 5,000. I don't know. All right, let's see. So basically, we want... Okay. So let's say we have this A, B, C, D, F, G. Then now we just do basically, um, let's just say the first character, right? Uh, let's just say alpha length. And I'm just spending a lot of time trying to think how to do it, but uh, okay. So we do something like this. Do, can L be zero? No, right? It shouldn't be here. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. And then now we look at the first whatever, and then we reverse it. Yeah, maybe there's a better way of writing this. Uh, okay, and then now, okay, well, we we, uh, we could do filtering in a couple of ways, but if now uh, it's in lookup, meaning if it's not, then we don't even bother, uh, if now not in lookup, continue, otherwise, so n we know that now exists in the lookup, so then now we can do something like, uh, the word plus 
now uh, base org. Uh, let's just say new word as you go to this if new word this is reversed uh, basically if this is a palindrome then uh, answer dot append um, was it now no uh, look up of now and oh, the other way I think order matters in this one index and order, look up now right and then we just return answer do I have to sort or anything no mm. is this good enough Oh, I guess you have to look up the other way too. Uh, oh, whoops. Okay, I'm missing some things and also three, three. Uh, okay, so or look up of now is to go to index. There's another one, right? Another bug. So, okay. So, this works because the text A, it goes A, B, C, D, E, and then it goes uh, A, B, C, D in the last one, and then okay. So, L, L, S. Oh, next, these are take from the, from the back and then put in the front, I guess. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, then we just do now is you go to word that um, we want. The last hmm. is that right? We take that and then and then we put it in the front. So, but first we do the swing again. Well, I guess I could just copy this part. So what I'm banking on, even though the complexity looks bad, is that Python strings are generally fast-ish. Because, at least for compared to other Python uh, things, but... Uh, why is that wrong? Uh, well, in this case, it would be wrong because I have to do uh, just return the set. But then, it's still not. Why? Why? Tell me why. Do, 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 do. So now it's ticking the first thing, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so that's good. Why, why is it not using the LLS? Uh, okay, well, let's see. Oh, because I do contain you here, it's skipping this part. Okay, I am not very smart. Uh, well, then I guess I just have to inverse this. I was hoping I don't need to. Okay, I think the wrong answer for the last one. Wait, empty string is possible? Uh, okay, so I guess I can change this. 
This is so silly. <laughs> I, I actually didn't see that example. But okay, let's give it a quick submit. I don't know if this is right. Or uh, uh, maybe it's probably right. I don't know if it's fast enough. Okay, well. Oh, 900 days. I actually missed the screenshot. Uh, whoops. Mm. Huh. I mean, what did I do? I guess this is mostly the same. What about this one? I guess this is also the same as what I did today. But except for that now, it is much uh, more expensive. Why is it so slow? Hmm. What is the slow part of this? I mean, hmm. there are a lot of slow parts in this. I just don't know which particular one that you know, is not good. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know what to say, but uh, that's all I have for today. I, I am very tired, friends. So let's stay with that. Let's go for the complexity really quickly. Um, you know, uh, this first part is going to be all of, let's just say N. Oops. Where N is the number of words. We'll say L is um, time and space, but this part is going to be all of N again, uh, times all of L for this one. Uh, and then each one of these is also O of L. Uh, this is O of L. This is, uh, this stuff is O of L. This stuff is O of L. Everything is O of L. So this is N times L times L square. Um, what did I say? Maybe I said that weird. I meant N times L square. Um, is the time and the space is going to be just look up, I think, and look up is O of L, right? Yeah, so wait, I think L is number per word, so this is actually, because uh, depending on how you want to say it, uh, because. They're n words, but each of those words takes L uh, space as well. So, um, depending on you want to do it, that's that's uh, the space. Uh, I guess there's also actually answer, and answer can be at most, um, as we said, it's going to be L squared, n times L times L output space. No, wait, no. Well, we'll check their L squared possible answer for each one. Uh, and each of the, uh, maybe that's not quite technically possible, but I think that's actual space. This is terrible. I don't know. don't know how this works. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Sorry for a little bit of uh, sketch. Uh, hopefully, I think tomorrow I'm back in New York or the day afterwards. Hopefully once things settle back to regular, uh, we'll have regular... Uh, uh, videos. Anyway, uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. If y'all join the contest coming soon or whenever, good luck, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.